plus 35 seconds into the Polaris Dawn mission, flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 to new heights. Power in telemetry nominal. And we're throttling down in preparation down. for max Q. Next call out, the vehicle supersonic. And there on the left side, we've got Falcon the Polaris Dawn crew. Supersonic. Thumbs up from the pilot on the left side there. Max Q. We're throttled back throttle up, up to power. One Bravo. And we heard the call out, one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. That just tells the crew what would happen uh, should they need to initiate anything. But right now, everybody making nominal call outs on Falcon 9. Nice views from the ground camera. And nice view from inside Dragon. Impact chill is underway. The announcement lets us know we've begun the final chill of the second stage engine in preparation for its activity coming up at about T plus two minutes and 40 seconds. Two minutes into flight. Everything continues to look good. We'll have in half a minute Three major activities, shutdown of the nine Merlin 1D engines, stage, stage separation, throttle down. and then ignition of the second stage engine. Throttle down, we're holding a constant acceleration now for the crew just below 4 Gs. See, we're coming up 70 kilometers. Preparing for Miko. Main engine cut off. Two Alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two Alpha. Impact ignition. Stage As you can tell by the cheers behind us and the views on your screen, the first stage booster now on its way to attempt landing on just read the instructions. Second stage there on the right hand side of your screen. And there it is. Landing burn has begun Dragon for- Dragon SpaceX, nominal orb insertion. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system disarmed. Copy that SpaceX and we show the scene. And a lot of events happening right there, but you can see that the stage one vehicle has touched down on just read the instructions. A very excited crowd there. <laughs> Here in Hawthorne, we've also confirmed MVAC engine shutdown and orbital insertion of the second stage with the crew on board. Yeah, honestly, a pretty impressive crowd uh, for 2.30 in the morning here. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the crew enjoying their first taste of microgravity there on the left-hand side of your screen. Now that the MVAC engine has shut down, uh, they are able to uh, just kind of float free. <laughs> We might catch a glimpse of the zero G indicator. I'm not, can't quite tell if they've, oh, it looks like it's in the uh, upper right hand corner. It'll uh, come back into view here. 
Once again, they will keep their visors on until given the OK by uh, core here on the ground. At this point in time, the dragon and the dragon trunk remain attached to the second stage. Second stage is basically safing itself um, in preparation for uh, the separation from the dragon trunk. Of course, the trunk will remain attached to the dragon capsule all the way up until the point in which we begin re-entry operations. The trunk is what will help provide power to the dragon capsule while it is on orbit using its solar arrays. Looks like our first clear view of planet Earth there, our first of many <laughs> for this mission. And the next event coming up will be um, the separation of the dragon from the second stage. I believe this view here is, yep, it's of the trunk. We can see it separating from the second stage. A gorgeous view. We can see that Polaris Dawn. Separation confirmed. Polaris Dawn flying free into the sunrise. We're now at T plus 13 minutes and five seconds into the mission. Next major event will be nose cone deploy. Dragon, SpaceX. Today you embark on a journey not just for yourselves, but for all of humanity. Each of you has trained tirelessly and prepared rigorously for this moment. The moment where we reach higher into space than ever before. As you gaze towards the North Star, remember that your courage lights the path for future explorers. We trust in your skills, your bravery, and your teamwork to carry out the mission that lies ahead. Know that the entire team back here is with you every step, watching, supporting, and cheering you on as you walk into space. We are sending you hugs from the ground. Godspeed, Flair Stone crew. May you make history and come home safely. Now words from our CE. Dragon, CE, welcome to orbit. The Falcon team is honored to have helped you start your incredible journey. We hope you enjoyed the ride. The whole SpaceX family is looking up to you. Godspeed and good luck. LD, CE, uh, message received. We appreciate the kind words. We wouldn't be on this journey without all 14,000 of you back at, uh, at SpaceX and everyone else cheering us on. We appreciate it, and we're going to get to work now. Some really nice words there from our tonight's launch director, Frank Messina, who, fun fact, was also the launch director on Inspiration4, as well as uh, chief engineer for this mission, Jared Metter. Really nice to see some endearing, uh, or hear some endearing words up to the crew. Well, and with that, the Polaris Dawn crew, they're now in orbit. T plus 15 minutes, and they are scheduled to spend up to the next five days in space. We heard that tone for a minute. We thought we might hear from the crew, but they're gonna spend the next five days in space before splashing down off the coast of Florida. The Polaris Dawn crew is the, the Polaris Dawn mission is the first mission in the Polaris program that will demonstrate new technologies, conduct extensive research, and ultimately culminate in a flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. All of this while continuing to raise funds and awareness for important causes here on Earth. You can learn more about the Polaris Dawn program and the Polaris program at polarisprogram.com. 
This mission will fly higher than any Dragon mission to date, attempting to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown for a crewed spacecraft, breaking the record set by Gemini 11 half a century ago. And there it looks like we can see uh, some nose cone separation action happening. Now the Polaris Dawn crew will also be the first to test the Starlink laser-based communications in space. Over the course of the mission, we'll be checking in periodically with the crew. Next up, Dragon will initiate a two-day pre-breathe process to prepare the crew for their upcoming spacewalk, and that'll be this Thursday, September 12th. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts, and nose cone open is in progress. Tempted at SpaceX, we are tracking. And again, that's Thursday, September 12th for that spacewalk. So please be sure to tune in for our live coverage of this historic milestone. And of course, we will also be back to bring you live coverage of Splashdown when the crew returns back to Earth. You can stay on top of any potential live events from the crew by following us on X at SpaceX. And keep tabs on the mission with the Dragon Tracker at SpaceX.com. With that, it's been a great early morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.